Welcome to Game. Hey guys, and welcome hey. to the worst week ever. For reasons that we can't really go into yet, now, here. It's been a rough week, you guys. But We're just happy to be here with you on a Friday instead of doing pretty much anything else that we would otherwise be doing not on this live stream. <laughs> Working on scripts, that's, that's pretty par for the course. so fun. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a rough week. It's been a bit of a rough week, but that's okay. We'll probably be able to talk about it at some point. Yeah, we will. We'll be able to talk about it at some point. Not right now. Yeah, now's <laughs> not the time. Uh, just send positive vibes our way. So many. So many positive vibes. So many positive vibes. vibes. Yeah. Um, we are, we're working through some stuff over here on our end, both personally and in the world of our channels, and so there's a lot just up in the air. Hope you guys are having a good week and having a good end to the week. We are so happy to be here with you and ready to beat the pants off of this game. Yeah, so... Uh, Seriously. So, what better, what better use of video games are there than for escapism from the trials and tribulations of everyday life? That is definitely the purpose. That is <laughs> the purpose of video games. It's not about getting frustrated over them. It's nope. not about getting mad that your favorite franchises are being released in lackluster ways, <laughs> although that's always a bummer, too. Ah, uh, that happens as it, well. It happens, you know. but you find another game. I don't know. So, so yeah. V today, we're going to Im involve ourselves in the truest form of what video games are all about, which is to entertain and have fun when the rest of, wor of the world seems sucky or depressing or you're worried about things <gasps> and you just need to get away for a little bit. Yeah. So that's what we're up to today. We're hopping into Deltarune. We're finishing it. Maybe if Chris is able to get it to work, but you know what? With how this week has gone, this will probably collapse Who and knows? fail around Who us. Who knows, too, everyone? Welcome to this week that is the beginning <sighs> of November in our life. Oof. What a way to start a month. Woof, Holy what cow. a month. Um, what a year, man. And hey, you know what? If you have also had a bad week, we are totally here to sympathize with you. You can have a gripe fest in the chat. That's yeah, fine. That's We're great. up for it. All, all I'm in. The more we have, there is, we, yep, it is gripe fest <sighs> Friday, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, yeah, that's, that's the plan for today is to, for the next hour and a half, try to just like, Put everything away, hang out with you guys, spend some time talking to you, and hopefully beat Deltarune as well as the secret boss, Jevil, that Woo! we unlocked last time. Yeah, let's I, do it, you guys. I think the plan for today is to first beat the game, uh, and then hopefully with the time that we have remaining, go through Jevil a couple... Hopefully it doesn't take too many times. I think... Last stream we ended with our first battle against this guy, and we did pretty good. Like. For going in completely blind, having not prepared whatsoever, and not having any clue what this was battle was going to look like. I, I think we did really well. I thought it did okay. I thought we did great. I, and I think we'll e do even better the next time around. Uh, if you would like to cheer us on, <laughs> stick, let's, just, let's just stick to positivity today. If you'd like to cheer us on, hit us up on hashtag DG Live on Twitter or in the chat where you are already there. Saying things like, what is that llama in the background? It's drama llama. It's drama llama, It's drama llama. If you've got drama, bring the llama. Save the drama for, for your the llama. llama. Uh, good luck in life, says I'm Frozen 131. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, finally caught a live stream right at the yes. beginning. Yes, Ruben Yenas, you did. Sorry, it's a sorry, it was a bummer at the beginning. That's right okay. There. Jeez, That's usually all right. there's like joyful banter. Right. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna we're, we are nurse also, myself with bottle we're cap. We're also self-medicating with leftover Halloween candy. Also ran out of Diet Coke. Saying. What? No. no. We have no more Diet Coke that in the office. That doesn't happen. There were six in the fridge, but they were from like two years ago. Um, yeah, I well, know. Well, I will get more. So they were like stale Diet right? Cokes. I had them. Or at least I started drinking them and I'm like, these taste funny. I should probably not consume all of these. <laughs> so I only had like half. So uh, that means, hey, if, if they were bad, well, so be it. Yep, there we go. All right. Let's do this. Delta Rune, let's finish it. So I can get working on a theory on it. Right. Alrighty, let's do it. So, so this is where the um, secret boss is, Jevil. We found all the pieces to his key uh, towards the end of the last stream. If you missed it, it's over on the GT Live um, 
Well, it's over here. That's right. Yay. I was going to say it's over on the GT Live Archive channel. This but no, is the GT is Live here. channel. This is just the GT Live channel, and the videos exist here now. Um, but instead of wasting a lot of time trying to beat him at the beginning, yeah. we're going to try to beat him at the end. I think the way to start here is to actually beat the game, and then based on what you all were telling us at the end of the stream, that uh, we can go back to this moment and fight him then. Yep. Uh, so I think that's what we're gonna do, just so we can make some progress early, and then Let's uh, do this. and then beat the Jevil and see what what awaits from there. Yeah. Uh, so in case you forgot, we are in the we're in the castle. The castle. We're getting ready to go fight the king. The evil king. We escaped from the dungeon. We solved all the challenges, and we're headed up to the top floor. Right. Uh, Team Frost Stevens says Math Pet go Super Saiyan already. Um, we are trying. We Working are trying. on it. I, I always thought I would look good as a blonde. Uh, Queen of Anxiety says, Hey, Steffi and Maddie Patty. Hey, Queen of Anxiety. Uh, you, can go, you can't go back to Jevil after you beat the game, says Karen Goldberger. Are we, Taryn Goldberger, are we sure we can do that? Yes, you can, says Chris. We trust Chris. Chris says, yes, we can. I've heard from Dan, who has played the game, that you can go back and do the secret boss okay. after you beat it. So we're blaming plenty of other people, not us, if this doesn't work out. I still am very curious about what happens with these guys. Like, I'm, I'm opening these, like, pictures' mouths, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Right. I don't quite understand why that would be the case. I know. It's very unusual. All right, so okay. last time we were up here, we did check out this room. Right. The bike is tucked into bed. We did not go to the shop, so... Hey! Welcome to my shop, you ungrateful worms! Yikesies. All right, uh, fine. Let's talk. Let's talk about yourself. I think you guys can go back afterwards to sandwiching around. Okay, good. I am still the Duke of Puzzles, Rulix Card. My hobbies include is the calligraphy, law keeping, bug keeping, mm, bug cages, keeping. and long walks in the dungeon. Oh, ho, ho. Artist thou one of my admirers, Worm? Nah. Why selleth to us? <laughs> so I might amasseth funds, Worms, an army of funds so that I may crush to thou like fermented grapes into a most delicious and adult beverage. Oh, my mind. Vengeance. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, I hear vengeance goes good with various cheeses, especially Ooh. soft cheeses. Really? Yeah, soft cheeses with a, a little side vengeance of vengeance. A little vengeance in brie. It's, it's a fine vintage of vengeance. Get on with it. Not to be confused with revengeance. Oh, oh I ha, ha, amuse ha. myself. Oh, geez, man. The king, let's talk about him. Our lordy king art a cruel and terrifying monarch. <laughs> However, he is also brilliant with a capital B, which means that he's even more brilliant than normal brilliance. Oh, for he God. decideth this tith to appoint me as Duke of Puzzles. Oh, great. <laughs> After pretty much if everyone else was firedest or placed inside of a cage. Truly a benevolent ruler. And the king's son. His son, on the other hand, is more troublesome than a fistful of fleas. Mm. He always asks me the worsty queries and calleth me his lesser dad. Oh, that's Ow. nice that he calls him his dad. I know, that's, a, that's already kind of an honor, That's right? like a term of endearment. You're right? not my dad, you're my lesser dad. Like secondary dad, sub dad. Right. Subcon dad. Uh, at GT Live, T spelled like T. Sipping the tea. Uh, look around the shop background, some Easter eggs for theories. The so you got a scarf, you've got books. worms in a jar. Got an axe. Books, axe. And some porridge. Some porridge? Could be grits. Could be grits or porridge or mashed oatmeal. Mashed potatoes. Ooh, totally mashed, mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Is there theory potential there? Maybe. I'm assuming the axe is some relation to the final boss of Undertale? Is that what people are thinking here? Yeah. I don't know. Our relation is none, you little water beetle. I placate you for your father's sake. I do not wisheth to hear your MP3s possessive. I would rather listen to the sweet song of death with a capital D, which means it must be some sort of metal band, probably from Germany. Because all the hardest core metal bands are from Germany, don't you know? <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. How is he, anyhow? That's it. That's it. Yikes. That's all right. What can I buy from you? Rulix Rue. It's a fragrant sauce that heals 50. There's right. a weapon. There's a dainty scarf. <laughs> Homemade healing up. Ooh, I like the dainty scarf. Right? Hmm. 
Uh, armor, defensive charm. Okay. Okay. So I should buy some armor. Like, this is the last shop in the game, I'm assuming. Weapon, yeah, I think so. I don't think up. we're going to end up with stuff after this. Here, you decide on that. So I think... Yeah, Undead Hunter says, It doesn't really seem like you were liking this game that much, MatPat, although I personally loved it. Not as much as Undertale, though. I really like this game. I think it's really fun. Yeah, what would make you think that I didn't yeah. like this game? I've been enjoying it a lot. Cupcake Girl says, The mashed potatoes are related to Ness being Sam's. I mean, obviously. We just... You know, you don't even need to call out some connections. Uh, what? The shopkeeper looks a little like Gaster, says Blaze. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. We've got... Ooh, fluffiness up! So I'm gonna equip the dainty scarf because it ups my fluffiness. This made a very similar scarf cube. Uh, this is gonna lower my defense regardless. It's gonna up it. There we go. Let's do. Let's keep the axe the same. Yeah. I'm gonna amber card. Can I do eight, two amber cards? I can. Ooh. Double carded. <laughs> Consider yourself carded. Oh uh, wait, let me unequip one. Hey, hands off. Wait, I can't unequip. What? Apparently, I can't equip it. Unequip it. Jeez, all right, fine. <laughs> That's great. Man. Ha! Once it's equipped on Susie, you can't unequip things. Come on, That's man. That's amazing. Hey, hands off. like, no. <gasps> no, it's, it's my amber card. Uh, I thought it said Chris would lose. Uh, yeah, no ability, yeah. All right. Okay, so so it should stay on Rawlsy. Amber card, okay. Cool. So that's all equipped. This is the elevator down. We were already in the other the other place. Uh, let me save it here. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, Lullaby the Kitty says, We've been looking forward to this all week. Thanks for being so awesome and engaging with your fans. Well, shut Oh, it's man. Our pleasure. Yeah. Um, let's see. Here we go. All right. This seems like a boss room. It's large and empty. Enough worms! Oh, it's me again. Oh, okay. hey, it's him. Thou may have cheated them through minor puzzles, but in combat thou shalt be scattered about. Come, knaves, prepareth for battle with... Not me. Oh, hey! Whatever this guy is again. Oh, uh, little bottle cappy. We only had so many assets for this game. Uh, uh, <laughs> Come uh, on, it's the enemy from earlier. But its crown looks different. Looks the same. Yes, with my control crony, crowny, I mayest control any disc-shaped life form. What? I like that something shut, except it still looks identical to my back. Like, there's still a gap yeah. in the wall behind me. It oh. looks like it's in pain. It looks the same. Yes, the control crown is painful, but I'm certain this creature will feel it the relief. When it sees how much more pain thou will be in! Yikes. <laughs> Here it comes again. Rough stuff. K-Round! So we need to get it to bow, right? Let's see what Susie's idea- well, that's what it was before. Let's right, see what Susie's, Susie's idea. idea. Let's, let's give Susie a chance here. Sure. Susie, you want to act? Oh, what's your idea? Um, uh, well, how do I say this? I kind of need you for this one. That's fine, Susie. I'll help. You want to apologize for it earlier, right? Nah, I just need you to stay still. <laughs> Chris, we gotta get that crown off its head! Help me throw Ralsey at it! Ooh, we got oh okay. Oh See to determine the angle. Here we go. There. Boom! Oh. No. Oh, no. oh. And then it's C to determine the power. Oh, this is too yeah, this is way too short. I thought oh. the crown loses oh, yeah. a little. <laughs> <laughs> Great, oh no. Ah no! No, don't you crush me! No! Stay oh. back! Stay back! That was alright. Oh, the crown is 20% loose! Sweet! Okay, we're gonna act. K round! Throw! Okay, we're gonna go high, high. this time. High! Yeah! Ah, uh, not good. Bam. Oh, the crown greatly, greatly loosened. loosened! Hey yo! Nice! Okay, Un uncalled for. No, no, right. need, no need for this. No need for this, friend. Get out of here. Get the gone. The crowd is 55% loose. Stop sparkling at us. around. Throw. Yeah, yeah, there it is. There you go. Oh! oh. What? A little. It, it was, was right on. It was it right was on. It was exactly on. where the last one was. Come on. I, I, dis I disagree with that assessment there. All right. That's just The crown is 75% loose. Ah, come on. Hey, round. Throw. Okay, so I had most success with it slightly under the crown. Wasn't yeah. that what it was, really? 
Oh, that was a good one. Nice. Yeah, greatly loosen. There come we on, go. Come on, this should be it. That's it. Yes! <laughs> Suck on that control crown! Oh, look at him, he just rode away back. Yeah. Rode away. Goodbye. You won. Huzzah. Yeah. Why, brilliant! Just brilliant! I knew you couldn't do it, thou great heroes, thou! Come on now, thou suck up! Seeth, that was merely a friendly test of thine abilities. But thou hast won, and now nothing blocks thine path. I, personally, could not be less of an obstruction. Uh, but you? Luck be with you, heroes! Alright, fine. Great. What a coward! Seriously. Whoa! Ooh, hey. Ooh, it's a throne. A room of a throne. Were you gonna say Game of Thrones? Were you trying to go with Game of Thrones? No, I was, no. <laughs> Tis a ruined throne. Ooh. It seems to have been damaged in a struggle. Oh my. Riches, they shine with avarice. <sighs> Yikes. <laughs> wow, Way really. to wax a little poetic there. These That's also shine with avarice. So much shining with avarice. Wall banners. They seem to have been through some kind of struggle. Hmm. Not the banners themselves, but a struggle happened and sliced the banners, right? Right, really. Really. They, they themselves were not through the struggle. The struggle was real, and they lost. Are you being insensitive to their struggle? <laughs> Apparently. Hey, yeah, yo! I'm, I'm, not, I'm not caring enough about their struggle. Hey, there's Lancer! Oh, that's Daddy. Shoot! This whole time I was expecting Lancer to somehow, like, become his father. Because the way, I, Ooh, I don't know. Maybe, I was, I was kind maybe of metaphorically, he will be. <laughs> Whoa, maybe maybe that's the final chapter yeah. of, of Deltarune, is he becomes his father. He looks in the mirror one day be... at an adult of like 35, and he's like, look at what I've become. I've become my dad. If, um, that's the existential crisis. If Chris is a grown-up version of Frisk, um, is this going to be someone from Undertale then, be who had a baby? No. Who had a fat little... <laughs> Little toddler. Bob, we got a baby eats a boy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> father. <laughs> you, you should be dad. Okay. Lancer, my son. I sound a lot like Ralsey this time. <laughs> Have you dispatched the lightners as I commanded? <laughs> no, but um, I did even better. It turns out we don't actually have to fight them. They said they could just talk to you and. Uh, they're alive! <laughs> yes, and I think you'll like them a lot. There's Susie. She's very purple and strong and... Where are they? No! I know. Your, your, I know. your, your vo vocal portrayal really captures I think the seriousness does. of the I, scene, I, I feel. I think it does. It does. Um... Hey! Hey! Uh, it's nice to meet you. I sound a lot like the king. <laughs> it's very odd. Uncanny how your Lancer. voices are. Lancer, my son. Y yes, father? You are a stupid. <laughs> oh, do you remember what I told you? Is he going to punt me off the top of the castle? Yeah. D don't get too attached. You have failed. Oh no, is he going to throw me off the... They have poisoned you with their sentimentality. Free yourself, Lancer. But they care not for you. Their only goal is to destroy our glorious fountain. Yeah, I don't really care that much about the fountain. Yeah, oh, like, God, fountain. Ooh. They are scum. Wow, that's, that's harsh words. Yeah. No, they aren't. Uh-oh. What did you say? Let him go. Oh, man. Ha, 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 ha. You want me to let him go? Then how about this? No, don't throw him off the building! Don't do no. it! I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter. Unless you all kneel and learn your place. What will it be? Oh, that's you. Sorry. What will it be, Lightners? D don't listen to him, Susie. He'll... He'll... Oh, look at everyone protecting you, buddy. Now watch, Lancer. Uh-oh. 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 See what happens when you befriend Lightners. You can't do this. This isn't in the battle screen. Right. Come on now. Whoa! He's Whoa. dead in the oh, back. Man, oh man! Right to no. the back of the face. Man, I wish I could just summon spades anywhere I wanted I to. Know, That'd be great. I know. You, you traitor! Come back here. Yeah. All right, enough already. 
Who the hell do you think you are? Oh, man. Oh, to my people, I am a hero! To you. Whoa. Whoa! I am the bad guy! Wow, he is gross and weird. Oh, yeah. He's got, he's like got a, a tail coming out of his stomach. He's got like a... <laughs> the very like a, long umbilical cord still say, attached. It's totally an umbilical cord. I don't know. It goes into his stomach mouth. The king, king blocked, blocked the, way. the way! Okay, go ahead. Right? Yeah. That's gross. Yeah. Why does this song sound so familiar? It does sound really familiar. Doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know what I don't know. I can't on. place it for some reason. All right. And now it's different, but like... Right. Okay. At uh, PinksU22, just for the info, it's not a sequel or a prequel to Undertale, but it is confirmed to be made by Toby Fox. It talk, is. talk, talk. So I'm going to start by talking because I never talk. Although, actually, no, I, I want Susie to talk first. All right. Uh, and then we're gonna block. Susie tried to reason with the king! All right, listen up. Lancer's my friend, so if we can get by without hurting you, then... If I perish, so be it. Show my son the monster you really are. Wow, you're, you're, oh, just, man. you're just creating a self-fulfilling prophecy for yourself, buddy. Oh, man. I got nothing to say here. All right, you want to see what I can do, huh? Susie's will is changing. Oh, no. Talk became Red Buster. Huh. All right. Shoot. I don't... How dare you come here, Lightner? All right. What's this, what's this all about? That is a very ineffective attack. Your, your attack was very weak. The battlefield is rumbling. That was not... Cool. Red Buster. Uh, we probably should not use nah. that one. I don't want to bust anyone. I want to. I want to have a casual conversation. Just chat. Here. We're gonna talk. So, yeah. We're gonna defend. There we go. You're also gonna defend. Great. Tried to reason with the king. Hey, silence, Lightbringer. Your very existence goes against your our own. By the knight's will, I shall shatter your heart into pieces. So oh, who's this that's knight? Rough. That's a, I think that's a question. Right? Oh man, our will is, my will is changing too. I talk became courage! Ooh, that's exciting. You, that left us in the shadows, stripped of meaning. Oh wow, what's that? Whoa, oh, hey, wow. whoa, hey, whoa! Oh, whoa! Oh, wow. oh, this is sweet, okay, okay. Ooh, this is, that's, that's, that's cool. a cool that's attack. Neat. That was really awesome. King's mouths babble indecipherably. Hmm. Weird, okay, King, courage. Let's talk one more time. Actually, no, I want to act and I want to check in. Actually, I'm curious. All right. Uh, at zero D longitude says the voices for this have been perfect in this playthrough. I love it. Thank you. Yes. Nailed it. Awesome. Including your king. Your, I think your king is, is truly Spot like on. the pinnacle. Spot there on. There you go. Uh, let's nope. see. Uh, abandoned by the light nurse, his heart became cracked with hatred. Oh, man, abandoned. He cannot be reasoned with. Don't give up. Oh, that was. Those are all Z. I don't know. Yeah, you, you dare return to torment us once again? Wow, it's almost like I can't hmm. tell the difference between your king and your Rawlsy. What? Uh, huh, you dare return to torment us once again. Interesting. So what is... Ooh, hey, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. All right, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. No, no, there we go. Huh. You got it. So the Lightners abandoned the Darkners. Yeah, and shoved them into the dark. Darkness pours forth from the fountain! All right, let's talk. Let's talk, and there we go. Rosie tried to reason with the king. You might not. Okay, I'll change you up. Oh, no, go for it. I like, I like him. I'll do what I did last time. Great. You might not realize it, but oh, God, he's sold here again. this is a world where you don't have to fight. I know if we try, we can all find another way. Such simple-minded platitudes. A shame you will not live to realize your naivete. The camera was blocking it. Now perish with your pathetic lighteners, you worship. Sorry, my friends and I aren't going anywhere. Woohoo! Rolsey's will is also changing. Talk became dual heal. Ooh, that's exciting. Dual heal. We found fresh purpose. Mm. Ooh, oh, hello. Ooh, hey. Whoa. Oh my gosh, it's ah. just like a, a screensaver. It's like all those times ah. where you're hoping that the screensaver oh, yeah. lands in the perfect right in the corner, corner and you're like, yes! That's the best. I love it when that happens. So we got Red Buster, Courage, and Dual Heal. So we're gonna have to fight him, huh? I don't know. Right? Damage heals everyone. Try right? courage. Try, try it. Why not? I think we're gonna have to fight. I think we're actually gonna have to fight him. That's my prediction. I keep waiting for it to change to something that we can, something else we can act on. 
Let's see. Keep using them. Maybe they'll keep turning over. Right, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, I encourage right. the party. My party's defense raised for th only this turn. This oh, that's turn! Nice. For the knight has appeared. Yeah, th this knight is interesting. Right. I'm, cu I'm curious about who this guy is. Yeah! Nice! nice. His mouth babbling coherently. Uh, since we got nothing else going on, let's let's heal, let's stay, defend. Your soul shined its power on Ralsei. Ralsei cast dual heal. Everyone's at max health. All right. The knight that pulls the fountains from the earth. Ooh, hey. Hmm. Ooh, what is this garbage? What, whoa! Hey, 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 hey. It points in the direction. Yeah, yeah. Great. Yikes. All right. Hmm. King's mouths gave a berserk smile. Uh, all right. So we can't do anything else? I mean, I, uh, he's still running through dialogue. So, so just like Sans. Yeah, just keep he's running, running out, Yeah, he's running through his dialogue. So I think we let him run through dialogue for a while. All right. All right, let's do courage. Let's defend and let's- Here, let me see what the chat's saying here. Let's do heal prayer on, I guess, Chris, just because it's silly. Oh, person. people think Red Buster doesn't do damage. It says it does damage. Oh. It says damage when I look, like read it. We'll see. Holy fountains whose shadows, holy fountains whose shadows are creating a new world. Okay. Can Our we encourage world. him? Our world. Hmm. Let's get faster. There we go. Nice. Right. Battlefield is rumbling. Fantastic. Keep defending. Right. I think so. Uh, I'm just gonna... see because it says. Heals everyone. Red damage. It says red damage. Yeah. I don't know what that means because he's a black card. So I'm assuming oh. red damage is something different. That's interesting. But it does say damage. So I'm inclined to say... Right. Red Buster does a lot of damage. Okay. Right. I was going to say it probably does a critical damage. All right. Okay. Do you see our... Do you see now our new purpose? Huh. Milo Woodall that says, do Red Buster. You have to fight to win. You don't have to hurt him, says Bird Cactus. Hmm. Some like conflicting information in the chat. Battlefield is rumble. Right? I like that. No one can agree on this. Uh, okay. We're gonna act. We're gonna have Oh, we're gonna actually defend. The Theorist Phoenix says, make love at war. Don't fight. Um, right, I don't think we You have, have to fight, otherwise you won't go on, says Miss Mash. We'll see. I'm gonna wait at least until we start seeing him repeat stuff. Right. Soon this world shall be blanketed in darkness. Just keep defending, don't kill him. You don't need to fight, ignore the trolls. <laughs> Blanketed in darkness, and darkness shall rule it. Okay. All right. Ah, hmm. poop. My B. Darkness pours forth from the fountain. Uh. And. Defend. I mean the heal prayer, uh, to Susie. Yeah. Great. Heal prayer. Right. Yay. Then you may see what it is like to live in despair. Okay. That's, that's a bummer. Despair sucks. Right? Despair's the worst. Right? Woo! I love that attack. That's fun. Battlefield's still continuing to rumble. I'm... I'm just gonna defend. No one's got anything. We, we're all, we all Come good. Come on, man. Now enough oh, talk! Enough talk! Have at you! Fall before the chain of justice! Alright, just gonna use this. Alright, here's this thing again. Whoa! Oh, hello. Oh, oh hello. Oh, hello. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is a cool attack. Oh, no, I got hit. Wow. Whew. All right. That wasn't too bad. All right. Oh, man, the king's mouths gave a berserk smile now. They're smiling. They're smiling. Heals everyone. Guess so. I, like, I don't Might really need as well. it yet. That's what I don't... I don't really need it, but at the same time, it's like... I can use it. I have my TP at max anyway. Right. So might as well. Heal it. everyone. Then defend. There we go. Your soul shined its power on Rosie. Rosie gets dual heal. Hold on. Ha! You're quite strong, aren't you? No, your attacks are just really easy to avoid. Oh! Yeah, shots fired. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright. If only All right. you continued your attack, fiend. Come on. And defend. Oh, and gosh. defend. And defend. Okay. Here you go. I keep fighting you like this, then what? Then what? Diana Diamonds and Steph, I've played this battle ah, three times. I've tried not killing him, but there's no point. You won't get anywhere. You have to attack him. You say that. Hmm. I'm, I just want to see what he says, right? too. Like, from a theory perspective, 
he seems to be revealing a bunch of deep lore about the game. Right? And so I'm, I'm just curious to see, like, what he actually does. Have you seen the ending? It's crazy, says that one boy. Well, don't spoil it. We haven't seen it yet. There's no way to pacify him, is there? Hey, if you fight, you will finish fast. Oh, more. It's not about finishing fast. Right? It's about Here's finishing the, yeah. right. Uh, let's see. It seems that... He was saying stuff. But it oh. seems that he has something to say. Wee! Battlefield continues to rumble. Man. Right? It's just rumbling up a storm. I played the game you have to fight, says Nicholas the Beast. I don't know. Try sparing even though he can't be spared yet. That's kind of what I was wondering, actually. I was also wondering about Pacify, too. Like, if I could just, like... Pacify him? Pacify him. Try it. See it. Rolls the cast Pacify. The enemy was not tired. Yeah, yeah. What if we tried to heal him? My knight. My I knight, shall I shall not fail you. Oh. All right. Hmm. That's, oh, shoot. I should pay attention. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I was getting complacent with his attacks. <laughs> I'm like, ah. Ha! Oh, oh, hey! Uh, enough! Is enough. I see... I see that I cannot defeat you. It's true, your attacks are pretty lame. Bam! I have grown exhausted from our long battle. It wasn't... It really wasn't that long. It was long. like it was, four minutes. It's like, fine. And really, I just spent a lot of time talking the whole I time. Know. Oh, his cape flies away! Oh, I know! Goodbye, Cape! Knows I. <laughs> he has, like, Doctor Strange's cloak. Perhaps I... I have been too cool. The truth is, I was not always this way. There was once a time where darkness and lightness lived in harmony. A time where darkness could fulfill their purpose in peace. To darken things? It would be a lie to say that I, too, do not yearn for those days. Perhaps, perhaps you young ones are right. Please. Let us put away our weapons. There must be a peaceful solution to all of this. I think he might be faking us out. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking maybe. That was, that seemed too easy. Right, that was way too easy. <laughs> Come now, Susie. Don't do it. It's a trap. It's a trap. I'm glad you're starting to realize, Mr. King. It's a trap. None of us really want to fight. If you can just tell us about your worries. <laughs> Let's have some therapy. Right. Let's all sit down, lay down on the couch, have a little talk, a little talk, maybe a little tea time. Right. I don't know. Make about some cocoa. Him. Oh, there's no chance. There's no chance this is really happening. All right. right. This is. I'm calling it. This is betrayal. It's a trap. I'm sure we can all be friends, Mr. King. Yes, <laughs> friends. That sounds lovely. Too many ellipses. Don't believe it. <clears throat> My apologies. I am. Um, I'm not used to biting like that. I have allergies. My body is getting weak. Oh, don't say another word. Don't do it. Don't do it. Mm. Oh, you fool. <clears throat> oh. Oh no. Oh, she healed it. That's okay. I've always there. wanted. You should be all healed up. I've always wanted there to be a video game where you have to heal the enemy to defeat them. I've always wanted that. Wait, but that there's there are enemies like that in like Final Fantasy and stuff. I've always <laughs> wanted a video game that you heal the enemy to win. Also, I think Warcraft has some. Anyway, just saying. Great. There, you should be all healed up. How do you feel? Let's see. Oh, ah! you got him. You got us. Never better. You. Did I say you could get up? Oh! Whoa! Suddenly I have a shield for some reason. Out of nowhere! <laughs> that would have been useful so much earlier. Chris! Oh, Whoa. geez. Oh, spare me the heroics! <laughs> that didn't even make any sort of logical or physical sense. Right! Huh. So we can, that's his stomach mouth, right? He has a stomach, yes. right? Oh, okay. yeah. You, you are the leader, aren't you? No, not really. Yeah. So, what's your plan? Kind of by default. To laugh as you cast all back into obscurity? Huh. Us all back. Blech. You can't even say. Well, yeah, because you just beat me up. Right, come on, man. Young one, let me tell you a secret. What? Quiet people. Miff me up. Really, it's pissed me off. I don't know, pissed of... me off. Maybe we can say that. It's fine. 
Huh, so it's just not in my normal vanilla. So this is a callback to the very first moment of the game. Hey, yep. Hey. Oh. Did it throw the axe? Was it just uh, like... Well, yeah, what happened here? Was it... Was the gonna... axe longer than it looks? <laughs> in Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark, the musical, there was a battle sequence where they fought, like, across the stage. It was goofy like that. <laughs> Get away from my friend. Yeah, we're friends. Oh, man, friends. <laughs> or what? You'll kill me? Nah. Bite your face off. Bite your face off. So what's your plan, then? To talk me to death? You stupid, stupid light. You honestly think that you could have any way to convince me not to kill you? Nah. But they might. They all. Who's they? Oh, oh! man. Lancer? Everyone? Who are, who are those other all, people? They're our enemies. Oh, the ones on the bottom? The ones, yeah, who are the ones on the bottom? No idea. I, right? Those are brand new. I haven't seen yeah. those guys. What is the meaning of this? Sorry, Dad, you're being overthrown. When I told everyone you were fighting the Lightners, everyone remembered how kind they were. Oh, that's nice. They decided they'd rather have a king than accept some. Me. Now I'm the dad. You idiots! The Lightners are your enemies! Fools, I'll kill you! I'll kill all of you! Yikes, I think someone needs a time out. Mm -hmm. Go to your room, Dad. Oh, no! You all right, Chris? You, you all right? He's gone. He's gone now. He's gone Chris, now, Chris. Susie! He's, 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 it's over. Oh, it's you're good. all right. <laughs> yeah, it'll take more than that to take us down. Chris, Susie, I'm... I'm sorry, because I healed the king. We almost, we almost, it made no difference because we hadn't done any damage anyway. <laughs> right, it's true. We Susan, just tired him out. You were right. I, I was foolish to think we could act so soft to everyone. This isn't a world where kindness always wins, is it? It seemed to work really well for us, actually. But in we general, got, the real world, everything. no, not at all. No, but in this game, we did, we, it, we, kindness worked really well for us, actually. Kindness works nowhere else. Literally got us game. through the entire game, technically. <laughs> technically, if this is truly the final battle. <laughs> Except for the special boss that we'll do afterward. Hey. Yeah, it's complicated. Yeah, sometimes there's people you just gotta fight. But if you never let your guard down, then you, know, you might just hurt someone you care about. Oh, Susie, you're beginning to sound like a real hero. Yeah, don't get used to it. Then I, I suppose you and Chris should return home now. Yeah, I, I guess that's right, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's both. Do this thing. Well, up. Uh, see ya. <laughs> Peace. Bah. Peace. What about your cake? Your pie? What, weren't right? we promised we're, pies? We were supposed to give. Kaiser oh, pay. we were supposed to give the cake to the king. Huh? Uh. Chris, you want? We, we can't. We, there was nothing. We, All right. You wanna go say goodbye to everyone? Don't you? <laughs> yeah. Well, if you're gonna make me, I guess we can go back for a little bit. Let's go. Great. Nice. Hey. We can say goodbye, to people. There we go. Chris, Susie. You came back. Uh, well, Chris just wanted to say bye, you know. Oh, actually, everyone here wanted to say goodbye, too. Please let me know when you leave, all right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll try not to skip you. <laughs> Great. Ah, oh, the puzzle per person. Way to go, kids. Now we can go back to making the puzzles we all love. And thanks to your donations, I could buy a new hat and some shaving cream. Got nothing left to teach you now. Life's got no tutorial. Do your best. <laughs> Great. <laughs> best, you're the best. Best, you're the best. <laughs> Once, Lee, we owe you. Thank you. Hello, ball creature. Oh, even a little ball can say something like, thank you. Thank you, I can go back to being a coat hanger now. You, you were never, you never were not a coat hanger. It's okay. Uh. You are always a coat hanger here, inside your heart. Wow. You can be, you can hang as many coats as you want, Steph. That's not true. You're probably a breach of number one. Yeah. 
by the by, I asked, seem to come here, but... Or, sh sh shom. 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 There wasn't any interest. Wow! What a jerk. That's cold. Okay, great. <sighs> Alright, what we got here? You're absolutely amazing! Thank you. M great work. Thank, thank you. Jeez. Go for it. That's your that's your southern charm. Darn Dad. horsey, you've done us a big hill. Now no <laughs> must live in pieces. Thank you. You did it. You ousted that rotten tyrant. I'll happily accept a bounty of credit for my contributions. Uh. Unless the king reappears, in which case, I did nothing. Great. Oh, hello. Wonderful work, mine amigos. Thou hast the top list of the tyrant, free its star creeds. Mm. Truly, as the history shall not forget, the tale of Rolex Card and the Three Heroes. Mm. Great. Was, oh, wow. Keep going. Here we go. I knew I, you could do it. Uh, Though I was your enemy, I was cheering for you. <laughs> That's how much I disliked my job. Aww. That's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. The future looks sweet. Like a pile of bees puke. Which is honey, I think. A kingdom with so much hope. Hope you didn't screw it up. That means thank you. Come to our next bee day, too. We'll have one soon. If that's possible. Thank you. Heathy looked at you proudly. That's nice. Got a kiss. Thank you. That was an unwanted touch, but we'll, we'll accept it in What's this moment. What's going on? I slept through everything. Bummer. <laughs> Sucks. Hashtag sucks to be you. Hey! Oh, we the should animal. free these guys. Yeah. What ho? Hey, don't you call me names. How dare whoa, you? Whoa, whoa. You, you watch your language. This is a mostly kid-friendly stream. What about us? Aren't we going to be restored as kings? Ah! My treasure is unharmed. We'll carry on then. Okay. Okay. Now call me ho every time all I talk right. to you. Show's over, everybody go home! What's all the fuss about? Fewer people are in cages. What about you, animal crackers? Us animals decided it's okay if the king stays in the cage as well. But hey, th but they'll have to put on animal ears and noses. Oh, that's nice. very strange. Oh, this guy. Mamma mia, what a celebration. This calls for a cake. kick. Oh, kick. And this time, I'll make it out of a metal so animals can, can't eat it. That's weird. That's very odd. What a stupid idea. It's very, very dumb. Very stupid idea. I'll be honest. At first, we weren't sure how to make our new, uh, who to make our new king. I mean, Lancer has always been a bit of a pain. But after seeing how nice he treats you guys, I think we'll be fine. Aww. Yeah, that's nice. Susie, blue person whose name I neglected to learn all along. It's accurate. I thought you were going home ways. We were, but uh, Chris, that's blue kid's name, wanted to say bye. You know. Oh, really? Oh, 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 that's funny. I thought you wanted to say bye because we're friends. Oh, I mean, uh, I, I didn't not want to. Uh, so, you're the king now, huh? Yeah, and I'm changing some big rules. First, lighteners are now legal. Second, prison is now only for dads. <sighs> Sounds like some pretty good changes. Hey, uh, your dad was, uh, he was protecting the fountain, right? Is it gonna be okay if we mess with it? I have no idea. Uh-oh. But it's you guys, so I trust you. Uh-oh. That's a terrible idea. If something bad happens, we'll fix it out. Yeah, I guess we'll just see, I guess. Uh, well, see you later. Hey. Come back soon. There's always room in town for a couple of clowns. Ah. Uh. else here? You should tell your prince I say goodbye as well. Uh, is he leaving? No, he's just a sweet little peach. Oh, he likes Rolsey. Oh no! My little, my little... Paper plate pal! Because you rescued it. It grew to respect you. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's adorable. You're welcome. You're welcome, little little checker piece. It's our pleasure. Yes. Well, actually, maybe... Oh, maybe it shrunk to respect Aww. you. That's pretty adorable. I cannot sneak past him. So this is this is where it ends, right there. Okay. So we gotta, we gotta move okay. forward. All right. Forward, ho! Don't call me names. All right, so we gotta talk to Rolsey on the way out. Yep. You can't go back to the elevator. Hmm. You could just reload your saves. Yeah, you could always just reload the game. Here you go. You missed the fight. We did miss uh, the fight. It's gonna yeah, be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna yeah, be fine. Hold your pants. Here. 
Uh, Chris, Susie, are you leaving? Hell if I know, just follow Chris. Guess we'll just walk to the right if we are. Yeah, I walk, I walk, I walk to the right. Did you see that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, come on, I, come I, on. I, I, walk, come on. I, walk, I can't say goodbye, Stephanie! Go! I can't oh say my goodbye! God. I, Look, Chris, we even exhausted- Susie, are you going to leave? We even exhausted the music loop. Right? Um, I... I just wanted to say hi. Can you come I, with, you're gonna come with us? I really enjoyed meeting you two. Hey, can you stop mumbling into your hat for a sec? I uh, can barely hear you. Can, can barely hear you, dude. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Um, Chris, Susie, hi. Called it. Yep. We knew that the whole time. Totally. The silhouettes kind of gave it away. I hope I can see you again soon. Do it. Next time, I'll make you lots of yummy cake, all right? Right? Well, we shouldn't leave before Susie, who is literally starving to death, I know. gets a cake. Come on. Like, cake. even if this is imaginary fun time world, Susie needs a cake. Right? Needs Just a saying. cake. What? Is it as real? Uh, okay. oh, yeah. yeah. Sure, dude. Ha <laughs> Yeah. Let's go, Chris. All right. Called it. Asriel Dreamer. Here we go. All right. It's the Dark Fountain. Oh, so dramatic. <laughs> Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Is this fun? It yeah, is. it is. Don't know how, but uh, it feels like we stumbled into something really important, didn't we? Ugh. Ugh. Well, there's no time to think about that now. We have to get home. Actually, so there is do. plenty of time to think about and it. And you still have to do my project for me. As my dialogue is very slow. Right, right. now, it's time to go home. Right, Chris? Come on, Chris. As you stood in front of the fountain, comma, and, and parentheses, parentheses, new parentheses, you felt something strange. Was it words? It was if. It was as if, end parenthesis, your very soul was glowing. Whoa! Yes, Chris's heart grew three sizes that day, like the Grinch. The Grinch! I hear that's a sign of critical heart failure. It's a terrible <laughs> medical condition, actually. It's a really horrific sign. Hopefully it did not grow three sizes that day. That would right? be that very would be really traumatic. Bad news. What? What happened? I can't see anything. Watch it! Whoa. Uh -huh. So it was toys. Called it! Mm hmm And it wasn't- Ah, and it is a cat! I told you it was a toy cat. With the- with Where? the- with the button that's totally oh, sheen. Oh, so funny! The unused- Classroom? How'd we get here? That was one weird drug trip, man. That chalk did weird stuff to your mm -hmm. brain. Hey, Chris? What? Just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? Looks like we'll never know! Unless game theory has something to say about it. Hey! <laughs> anyway, as I was... <laughs> this is totally fit for game theory. Anyway, as I was saying, let's just tell Elfies we couldn't find any chalk. Oh yeah, about that. Jeez, clean up your space, man. It's a worn down stuffed animal. Yeah, it is. You know it is. It's a checkerboard. There are pawns strewn on it. It's a light switch. Man, someone needed to take down that bulletin board or whatever mm -hmm. was there. It's a yellowed, poorly drawn picture of a green turtle. Huh. It's signed Alvin. Weird. Playing card playing cards spill out of a deck in the closet. Anything else? Hmm. What's, the, what's over here? Anything over here? Just the Legos. The door is locked. Okay. <laughs> Man, the sun's already setting. It must be daylight savings time. Lord knows when it's daylight savings time. I never get to see daylight. Everyone else must have gone home by now. Guess Alfies will know better than to ask us next time, huh? 
Wait, so we entered that door and got through to the other. <sighs> well, yes, we should go. <sighs> See you later, I guess. Kaka, kaka, kaka. Uh, Chris. Oh, friendship, friendship. That's say. Let's go back there tomorrow, right? Aww. The let's. I, I think that's a great idea. The door is locked. This door is also locked. This additional door is locked. Sadie Hawkins, we did, the, yeah, we checked that out. We checked all the lockers before. Mm -hmm. Anything else that we could, you check the time. It seems to not be time for class. Computer's turned off. Whoops. The clock says Everything the same felt time peaceful it did for earlier. A Everything felt peaceful. The bunch of roses. Looks like motivational quotes. Hmm. Try your best, Ash, for wolfing. Yeah, okay. Nothing really in there. Hmm. Water fountain. We didn't get to check this classroom before because he stopped us before. Right. Mrs. Ms. Toriel is written in cursive on the dry erase board. Huh. Seems like it hasn't been erased in a very long time. The computer. It's a computer. Desktop wallpaper is you and your brother dressed up for Halloween eight years ago. What? Some kind of teacher food. A poster of several basic shapes. Circle, oval, square. Hyper <laughs> dodecahedron. <laughs> Great. Dodecahedrons are the best. Kids books. Some of them used to be yours. It's a primitive drawing of your mom. <laughs> the throne of the gods! true when I, I loved stacking chairs huh. and like then you try to sit on them and they'd oh, yeah. have really collapse under you some kind of primitive sculpture who knows what it represents all right weird locker it's locked yeah this is all this used to be your bro this used to be your brother's locker huh. it's your locker it's empty all right Oh, I have the cell phone, that's hey. right. Hey! <laughs> oh, C Chris! Whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother worried sick. Chris, I am afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Huh? A, a friend? Oh, that's nice. You were spending time with a friend? Oh, Chris, I will make an exemption this time. Yes, got out of it. You can continue your adventures a little longer, but when you return home, you are going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. Click. Aw, right, we so were I mean, a lonely outcast. Who knew? We, that could have. You could have probably guessed that. Doot, doot. Do, 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 do. Library. Oh wow, there's all sorts of stuff we can do. Wow. Chris, you survived Susie? I was getting worried. Right? Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to uh. draw dragons is 2,583 days overdue. Uh -uh. However, Chris, I'm a benevolent volunteer assistant. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere $64.23. Consider it, Chris. Jerk. Oh boy. What a jerk. Chris, what's up? Caddy's working, so I'm starting on our project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. It's very odd. Amazing. There's an anime review. Read it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. Teens Corner Monthly Tune Review Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2. Oh, this reviewer had Mew Mew 2 as her first exposure to the series. And let her tell you it makes Mew Mew 1 look like a dumpster with sparkly cat ears. With a darker storyline and more mature themes, the second one treats the viewer like a real adult, instead of like an animal that'll die if it goes 10 seconds without seeing a beach ball. Not to mention Mew Mew's character, the first one, is oh more gosh. stale than the ramen I eat at home by myself with the lights off. <laughs> Teens and older should check out this dark masterpiece. Signed, The Anonymous Yellow Lizard. Amazing. Anime is real. Gaggio Colin. So damn stubby hot! He's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. Fantastic. Man, everyone's reading an anime, apparently. 
Please remember my name, please. I wrote a book to help you remember. Hot's Fire Guy. Lord of the Hammer, first in the award winning fiction series by lauded historian Gerson Boom. Hey, Gerson. Ah. It's an unlabeled book. You look inside. Oh, I accidentally returned my personal journal instead of my book. Oh no, they're putting it into their catalog. Oh no, I have to take it out every time I want to write a new entry. There's a book here. You lick the page. It's delicious. This must be what they mean by flavor text. Oh, Badoo oh, King. Geez, oh, come hey oh. On now. Got him. I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should really read them. I I can't though, cuz you're blocking you're blocking the stairs. Computer lab, please surf the web responsibly. In fact, maybe don't do it at all. You looked through the window at the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Delightful. Leaf Chief Undying is supposed to be directing traffic, but all she's doing is standing in the middle of the street yelling, Get out of my way! She's the best, huh? I feel really directed. How am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck. You're in a passing lane. I, I guess I should just run away. Don't do that. That'll leave your car abandoned in the middle of the street. Hey, punk, get out of the road. You're blocking traffic. Oh, wait, it's Escort Kid. Sorry, I'm a little worked up lately. This job is just so boring. Nothing ever happens in this town. No. Nah. Sometimes I, I just wish something would shake things up. Huh? You got something to report? Dark World Elfies. Help you. Uh, the, the Dark World. I don't let's think... start with help you yeah, and let's, progress let's help you. to. Oh, you want to help me? Sure, punk. Get someone to rob the bank so I can suplex them. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Do we even have a bank? Hey, someone get someone to build a bank! That's funny. Alright. I feel like that was a good dialogue option. Good. I don't want to go yeah. through the other ones. Just because I'm afraid that it might screw up whatever's going on in I the know. game. It's one of those sliding bead toys that naturally spawns inside doctor's offices. I have never seen one of those out of a doctor's office. It's so <gasps> true. The beads march grimly along their set path. Oh, with you. Are you here to play the piano again? The patients can't hear it well from here, but I personally enjoy it. It's an obligatory hospital piano shrunk to fit in the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it? Yes. Plink. <laughs> Great. Hmm. You usually play the piano a bit more beautifully. Is everything okay? You do seem a little sick. Here, I'll play it more. Here, let me play more. <laughs> Great. Good. Great. Are, are you happy? No, apparently not. Fine. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry my playing was not up to your standards. <sighs> oh. Uh, Dad, I just can't say that to her. Oh my god, I'd die. I'd literally die. Noel, sweetheart. First time I laid eyes on your mother, I walked right up and told her. She was a hot piece of work. Really? Yeah. She slapped me so hard I blacked out. Uh, wow. Uh, that Dad, that doesn't help at all. Anyhow, how's Dragon Blazers 3? Beat it yet? Nah, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I've been kind of, kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. Oh, no. Oh, that's already sad. Oh, jeez. Noel. Maybe, maybe you should. Oh no! Oh no! no! Oh, this just got really sad and serious in a this hurry. This half reindeer <laughs> person is about to die. <laughs> Stephanie calling out the subtle nuances of the dialogue. You picked up on that one, did ya? <laughs> Shoot, I thought we were gonna have to dedicate a whole episode <laughs> of Game Theory to what's the deal with oh, Noelle's God. dad and Delta Rune. Oh no, this is getting. I, I love also that Chris is just standing here like eavesdrop. Oh yeah. So, what family drama am I intruding on, oh huh, my guys? Gosh. Everything everything okay? Y'all good? 
Oh, sorry, you're confessing that you're about to die. Just gonna continue to awkwardly linger in the hallway. It's fine. It's fine. Just ignore me. Oh, you should bring it here! I'm bored as hell. Ahaha, uh, fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. Oh, it's getting late. I guess I better go. I've got homework in all caps. <laughs> oh, that's the group project voice. Bird guy again. What's his name? Nerdly. It's, um, Birdly. He's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his ass. <laughs> oh, Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. <laughs> Bring him by the window. I'll throw something at him. <laughs> Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Oh, that was a beautiful interaction. <laughs> oh, hi, Chris. <laughs> Were you eavesdropping the whole time? Sorry, I'm... I'm paying my respects to your father. Oh, so you're just here to use the sink! <laughs> oh my gosh. I, just, I didn't know! Come on, Chris. Be a little friendlier. Okay, here. Hi. Well, jingle my gosh darn bells. Looks like Christmas came early. Oh, dad joke. But wow! Jing. Got him. Oh, man. All right, Chris. Just give me the straight shot. Why you here? Did your mom make you come here? No. Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. Proud of you. It wasn't too long ago you were just the creepy kid next door. Oh, great. Now you're the creepy kid right in front of me. Hey! Hey, yo, Maroochie! You, you got him! Dab on them haters. Ha ha! Ha ha! Everyone wants us to ask Undyne about Alfie's, by the way. Okay, okay, seriously. Do you want to chat or something? Uh, let's talk about... Oh, jeez. Noelle. She's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet. Couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus. Everything scares her. <laughs> and when it happens, she freezes like a deer in headlights. Uh, Probably because she used to be a deer. Maroochie! Remember, she used to even be afraid of humans under the bed. Chris, it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. <laughs> Great. Anywho, what's that? that's what's tough about being in here, Chris. Not what's going on with me. Just that, in the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? Oh, that's so sad and meaningful. Yeah, let's, let's continue chatting. There's no way you can bore me right now, okay? Let's talk about family. Chris, even if we've grown apart, we still love your family. After all, me and Asgore were college pals, right? Oh, hey, now that Asriel's off to college, you think she he's doing any crazy parties like me and your dad? Hey. Hey, I'm just pulling your leg. Your dad is no party animal. Your mother, on the other hand. Woo! Ah, uh, she'd always fuss about going, but when she's but the party started, yikes, man! <gasps> once, oh my god! <laughs> once she hit me clear across the room with a key lime pie, I got smashed into the snack table and toppled everything. Tasty pie though, couldn't complain. <gasps> what? <laughs> Let's talk about your fatal illness. So why am I in here? Well, they found some crap, so it's just some tests. Yeah, it's no big deal, nothing a holiday can't handle. I'll be out of here in a jiff, then I can go back to, I, I don't know, yelling at you for getting tangled in our light display. Okay, <laughs> patient name, Rudolph Rudy Holiday. Hey Chris, did you forget my name or something? No, I just really wanted to check all components of your room. Wow, that's it's a bunch a of, roses of roses in a glass container. Hey, I'm happy your dad brought me flowers, but, uh, roses? What is this, man? Beauty and the- I was gonna make this Beauty and the Beast show! Hey. Make sure you get out of there before the last petal falls. Boom, chink, got him! That ain't gonna work, man. We're both beasts. Huh. Uh, right. What do we got? It's a diagram showing a bunch of lines and a circle. Great. Indeed. Oh, Oh, my. It's, it's a regular sink. It's, it's a, a clone, clone of the either. other sink. Perhaps there was originally one tall sink that was cut in half to create both sinks. Great. Let's. I, I can't imagine what's afflicting this poor gentle creature in his bed. Uh, oh wait. This castle's white wizards relegated me to this healing chamber. Oh no. This man is delusional, just like Chris's. But my blood is boiling for battle. Let's do it! Weird. It's a classic 1 to 10 pain, 10 pain scale using Ice E as a model. At 0 pain, he's happy. At 10 pain, he's happy and sweating. <gasps> you looked inside the cupboard. 
Very small obligatory piano is hidden inside. Amazing. Funny how they can shove those things anywhere. basically anywhere. Okay, great. Patient can play the piano. Can't interact with the couch. Thought it might. Here, you want him? To... Got something to report? Alfie's. Alfie's? Who's Alfie's? I have no idea who you're talking about. Why did they say, why did they do something illegal? Gotcha. If I see Alfie's, I'll tackle him. Ha ha, they're as good as Jed. That makes sense. All right. So this kind of confirms that it's a separate universe. Yeah. With similar, similar characters. You knocked on the door at a police station. Someone's coming up to the window. Hey. They oh. closed the blinds. <laughs> what a jerk. Man, good job, police. Man. Police tape is blocking the way. The tape simply reads, "Yeah." Man, it's a very earthbound move. Right. Use police barriers to blockade everything all the time. Uh, let's go up or down? Uh, down. Sure. Calling it. Oh my gosh, it's a huge town. Whoa. So much to do. Town hall. The mayor's, the mayor's charisma is about zero. No, it's negative. But she works hard and has a good track record, so he, she runs unopposed. That's politics. Barely. Great. It's a painting of the town. It's a small pine tree. Thank you. It's a chair. Maybe it's into politics. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The mayor's busy right now. Don't you, you waggle need, your face at me. If you need to see her, try causing some terrible crisis. Okay. Great. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. That was different. Sorry, I'm sorry you're here to complain about your teacher. If you, you don't like her, please blame your mother for getting her hired. Mm. Uh, Hello. Hey, short stuff. Would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance too low? Ate too much candies? Lost your frisbee in the walk? Not my frisbee, no! <laughs> it shrunk. That's, That's what, what the cops are for. for. Great. All right. All right. I always appreciate when games allow you to do this stuff. Right. Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here. But not a school day. There must be a reason you come here at such a time. I, Father Alvin, implore you, if you have anything weighing on your mind, please speak. Fruit juice. Mm. I mean, it's always weighing on my mind too, I understand. Chris, if you want some of our sick fruit juice, you should come to our service. Oh, I get it. It, I, it's, 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 it's the, the wine. wine. It's the, the wine. wine, I get right. it. Yep. Our choir sounds a bit thinner since your brother went away. Chris, it would be wonderful if you could sing with us. Or even participate to any extent. Instead of just trying to drink the fruit juice, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know what you mean, Father Alvin. What could you possibly mean? Uh, oh my gosh. Wow, this is enormous. So... <coughs> Ooh. The music changed, which tells me that that's like towards Out of end town. game, right? <coughs> ooh, ooh, gravestones. This is gonna be revealing. Hey! Gerson, renowned historian, author, and teacher. Oh, so the turtle from Aww. Undertale has passed in this universe. Oh no. Gerson Boom Memorial Bench. Throughout my career, some of my best ideas came from dreams. Aww. Take a rest here. If anyone asks, you're writing. Oh, that's nice. South is that's safe. Go down, go down. That's cute. Hmm, okay. Well heard, Crystal. Chad. A snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Hmm. Mutler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Shira, a karaoke microphone for a brave singer. Hmm. Weird. We're expecting. Yeah, I thought we'd get Undertale like tie ins. Weird. But down is safe. Everyone said? Yeah. Alright, we'll go down. Go down, go down, go down. Go down, go down, go down, go back, go back, go down, go back. Fit, fit, you know. Ah, yes, the underground bunker. What? It's locked. For, uh, oh, not Fortnite. <laughs> Fallout. Right? What? What is this? Vault it's 76? Locked? Okay. Weird. All right. Weird. Hmm. Maybe that's the rest of the game. Or maybe it's a, the underground. I know. I mean, it could be. I mean, right? Or it could be the rest of the game. Or, huh, that's it. That's interesting. What a weird detail. Mm -hmm. Huh. We did Town Hall, we did her, we did all that stuff, okay. Oh my gosh. Diner! Oh my gosh, there's so oh much stuff! Gosh. There's so many people! Oh, here's another one oh, of these guys. Geez. Oh god, someone's actually here. Uh, 
I see is pizza. Your number one spot for piping hot pizza, pizza. Uh, hey, hey, wait a second. I recognize you. A oh, little buddy and me. Watch out for a minute before I lose my mind. Job. Make no mistake, little buddy. I see his pizza as hell. I can't slack off for seconds without hearing. Be a team player, there's no I in pizza. Yes, there is. You just took it out. But it's okay, little buddy. I've been saving up to go to college where Azzy is. Hey. Then I'll get a theater degree, become a famous actor, and let the fangirls roll in, little buddy. That's not <gasps> gonna happen, buddy. Nah. Sorry. Nah. Spoiler alert. Coworkers. Ah, oh, yeah, little buddy. Good idea. Meet the Rose Gallery. Blue Ears. Soft serve obsessed and no concert to personal space. Keeps accidentally pouring slushes on me and giggling. The Warrior, thankfully absent due to pizza-related injuries. Constantly terrorizing customers with war chants. Purple guy, man, that guy. <laughs> ah, really? They work at a pizzeria and there's a purple. Oh, that guy, man. you gotta. Actually, does that guy even work here? No, it's that other pizzeria. <gasps> he works at that other pizzeria with all the robots. <laughs> ah, my coworkers, where would I be without him? Happy place, little buddy. Much happier place. Uh, let's talk about Azrael. Do you know when Azzy's coming home? You can't tell him this, but I, I really miss that guy. It'd be sweet to cruise around town like old times. Picking up, for example, chickies, chicken chicks, chicken chick, which, as a matter of course, may not have ever actually happened. But one time Undyne made on contact with me. Well, she was writing me a speeding ticket. Oh. Oh, burn. This guy's just like fondling the air. Would you be interested in trying some of our many 24 Pez flavors? We've got normal, cheese, Ice, gravy, double ice, pepperonis, and more. Stop at Ice's Pizza. <laughs> Please oh continue God. fondling the air. Here at Ice's Pizza, your family is going to love it. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, the entrance is locked, no one's inside. It seems like all the employees are outside in costumes. Hey. Hey, oh. This is Pizza, your number one spot for a pipe and a pizza pizza. Ice me up, ice me up, boss. Great. Weird. <laughs> what? Perfectly normal. Oh I don't know gosh, what you're talking about. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. Uh, we'll take the special, and do you have any edible glitter? The youngest one won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. Mm. Ah, you're alive. Mm. Nice. Mm. I'm working. Great. That was deeply insightful. Hey there, I haven't seen you in a while, hon. I remember back on Sundays after service, you and your family would come in and order the special. Of course, things happened, and then y'all stopped coming together. Oh, mm. deep lore. I know. Getting some deep lore. They stopped going to church. But every Sunday, you and your brother would still come in. Really? He'd order you a hot chocolate, and you two would sit at that table in the corner. Drawing shapes in the window with your breath? Huh. I'm very observant for someone who's so airheaded. You must really <laughs> miss him, huh? Here, how about this? Chris got the oh, hot chocolate. hot chocolate. Nice. Good choice. On the house, hon. Oh, that's really nice. Aw. Rave reviews and autographs from various normal townspeople. Ball of junk. Huh. Ball of junk. A small ball of accumulated things. Smells like scratch and sniff marshmallow stickers. Weird. And then hot chocolate topped with homemade marshmallows in the shape of bunnies. Weird. Huh. All right. Looking at my rugged body, you must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is I put all my leftover pancakes in this giant hat. Fantastic. I, wow, that was information I totally needed to know. Ice Wolf does not like ice in drink. Ice Wolf likes ice to be drink. Well. Yep. Dude, no one used to skip the first hour of class to come here. You were fine, but I almost had to repeat a year because of it. Those crepes were mad worth it, though. Delinquency is the best condiment. Nothing. So, yes, I'd like the Nutella and delinquency crepe. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so good and so healthy. I like the vibe of the waitresses here. Maybe I should sign up, too. Nah, serving drinks wouldn't really suit a fire elemental. If I got nervous, I'd just melt all the ice. Yeah, don't you dare serve that to Ice Wolf. They also have like three waitresses for like the five customers in here. 
So for you two girls, that'll be the crepes, a cinnamon latte, two bunny parfaits, and a piece of firewood. Ooh, didn't know they served that here. So I drink the hot chocolate? Yeah. I think I do. You drank the hot chocolate. It tasted wonderful. Your throat tightened. Huh, because you remembered. No, uh, yeah, certainly. It was certainly. a nostalgic hot chocolate. It was a hot nostalgic. You looked at the junk ball in admiration. Nothing happened. Huh. Ring, ring. Chris, honey, what is it? What? No, I'm not giving you a ride home. Our house is not far. It's just at the top of town. Try walking. It builds character, honey. Click. All right. All right. We're getting close. Right? Hey, it's Ness. Look at that. Hey, look who's walking around. How are you, kid? Uh, since this is a new universe. Right, it should be. Who it are should you? be. Who are you? Uh, you know, good question. I'm Sans, your friendly neighborhood skeleton. What's up? Store. Behind me? Yeah, that's the grocery store. Unfortunately, it's closed. What a pain. I really wanted to buy some milk. Someone ought to complain to the guy who runs it. it says your name on it. So, you know, what's up? friends. We just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Why, you got anyone I should know better? Um... My mom? Me? Oh. You should know me better. Yeah. Mm. Whoa there, Tiger! Can't just jump straight into friendship. Takes time. Alright, that's enough time. Take this. Call it whenever you feel like. You got Sansa's number. What's up? What other friends? You should know my mom. Your mother, huh? Too late. I already befriended your mom last night. Oh, hey, yo! Oh, yeah, she's man. great. Came oh, to the man. store to buy some chocolate kisses, and I gave her some real ones. Ah, hey, yo. Said yeah, everyone wanted you to talk about your mom. Said she's got to lock her door <coughs> to stop you from eating them. Yeah, you sound like a fun kid, huh? Uh, you should also meet Elfies, because she's also interesting. Elfies, yeah, I know about her. Came into the store with a suitcase and sunglasses. Thought she was part of the mob. Shaking oh me my down. Gosh. Shaking me down. She opened the case and stuffed it full of instant noodles. What? Paid in small bills. Then slunk out of the place. Pajamas trailing on the floor. Anyway, our relationship is uh, purely business. Oh my gosh. So uh, I guess I'll just let it do a thing. People are saying, some people are saying to go back to the bunker and listen or try calling Sans. Really? Yeah. Hey bud. Just so you know. Are you busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. Huh. Live just next door, you know. Yes. Always say yes. Wow, you were deliberating for a while. No, it's... Gee, what's wrong? Don't want to hang out with a stranger? Well, guess I shouldn't complain. Huh? What are we going to be doing? Oh, I'm not going to be there. That'd be weird. It's just going to be you and my little brother. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. Huh. Weird. That is weird. Knock, knock, knock. No response, but the distant trussle of bones. So that's papyrus. Huh. Knock, knock, knock. Ooh, are you the human that lives at the top of the town? Wow, my mo oh, my mommy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? No, oh, jeez. What a rude knock, question. Knock, knock. How impertinent. That sounds like the knock of a beginner. Come back when you've gotten better at knocking. <laughs> nope, still, still beginner. Yeah. Here, okay. Uh, how Here. fast do you expect to skill build knocking? I mean, come on. Oh, yo, Chris, you survived Susie. Ha <laughs> ha. I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but uh, I'd be careful. Like one time, Snowy and Jockington were playing handball, and she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then, when the ball rolled over to her, she just uh, froze solid and kicked the ball so hard as hard as she could right into uh, Officer Undyne's car. Then Undyne came out smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally what whipped wiped us wiped, wiped us at handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. Ha! Oh. Knock, knock knock. Oi, Snowy, what did I tell you about knocking on the door so hard? Don't do it. It's really gonna hurt your face. We don't have arms, you know. Hm. Ooh, you're lucky, Chris. You got to miss class with Alfie's. It's not fair. <laughs> if I skipped class, my dad would never let me hear the end of it. <laughs> it's actually not even remotely funny. 
Okay, so before I go up, I should go down and call Sans. Yeah, I guess so. At the bunker? At the bunker. At the bunks. Oh, wait, that was, it was just straight down. Yeah. Straight down. Con continue on. Yeah, it's Whoa! weird that Sans would give you his number. It, that implies that you need to use it somewhere. Right. Especially since this is like the ending. We said go down and listen. Like machine sound? Weird soundtrack. All right. Huh. That's okay. interesting. Okay. Ring, ring. Hello. You have reached the hotline for idiot babies. Please press one for idiots, two for babies, three for idiot babies, four for none. I'm three. I'm an idiot, idiot baby. Ah, you're an idiot baby. <gasps> to tell you the truth, I'm one too. Let's try our best, okay? Weird. Not Sansa's number? Ring, 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 ring. The phone kept ringing inf infinitely. Weird. So it's not Sansa's number. Huh, okay. It's Gaster at the bunker, apparently. If you really? speed up the sound, it's gas. If you speed bunker. it up, really? That's interesting. Yeah. So wait, did he give us the wrong number? Huh. And now I have to like give him a hard time about giving us the wrong I number? I guess so. Yo! Sans! What's up? Um... None. Huh. I guess you don't really get to know him. Or like, you don't really get a number. Weird. Alright. Me. Ah, sorry, I don't hang out with idiot babies. They compete uh, people, with my sociological niche. People are speculating that it's Gaster's lab. Gaster's theme down there. Huh, interesting. So that was his number. Yeah, it was. Because he knew it was sort idiot of. babies. Here you go. Oh, hi, Chris. Did you need help with your homework again? I know you were having trouble last time, so um, I actually got a few things ready for you in case. Oh my gosh, that's nice. Uh, oh, wait, sorry, I can't right now. I forgot my house key again, and... Sorry, Chris. I'll help you later if that's okay. See you at school, Chris. Uh, uh, um, Chris, do you uh want to talk about something? Anything? Um, Chris, are you feeling all right? Normally, you're not so talkative. Oh, I don't mean to sound like something's wrong with you. Huh? Um, Chris, is something wrong? Why did you go to the hospital to see my dad? I mean, I'm sure he appreciated it, but uh. Gosh, I'm sorry, Chris. Forget I said anything. Huh. About... Key? Oh, okay. Susie, that's right. You were with Susie. Why didn't, when you didn't come back to class, I was worried, but uh, everything turned out okay, I think. Uh, um, Chris, can I ask you something, if that's okay? Susie, I'm kind of curious oh, what she's like, you know? I mean, who doesn't wonder about her? She never talks to anyone. So, Chris, could you tell me about her? If that's okay. She's nice. Yeah. Yeah, she's nice. Yeah, each shock is b betraying her trust because she's right. embarrassed about it. Terrible is Just mean. mean. She's nice. nice. What? She's a nice person? Really? Like, really? Honestly? Truly? I mean, that's just what I was hoping, but... Wait, this isn't another trick, is it, Chris? Like when you put ketchup on your arms and told me it was blood? Really? Are you serious that you're totally serious? Oh gosh, then maybe I should try talking to her. Oh, let's get her friends. But if I die, you're paying for my funeral, Chris. So honestly, if she's nice, I might die too. <laughs> That's cute. Huh. Interesting. Oh, Chris, like, if you want to come in, our cat flap is like always open to you. Little Chrissy, like, what's up? Give Aunt Catty a hug. Mwah, mwah, mwah! <laughs> I'm not even actually your aunt. Oh my god, can I talk to you about something? Oh my gosh. Actually, like anything though, your choice. Oh my jeez, there's so Here. many dialogue options. While we're waiting to decide, I have to skedaddle from today's live stream. Poop, okay. I gotta go. Bye, I'll miss you. I'm gonna head off, uh, cause I have to, I have to like run off and grab baby Oliver for the end of the week because we're headed into the weekend and that's awesome yeah and I'm really excited about that but it means I have to miss out on the last of our live stream and I don't want us to have to stop so I'm gonna skedaddle away yeah all of you have a lovely weekend I'll finish this I'll probably I'll save Jevil for you then I'll miss or you something. we'll have to figure it out we'll figure it out you guys keep playing keep having fun and I'll see you later okay hey Bye. just stream live stream back <laughs> Bye. 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 here we'll finish this up 
we'll we'll continue closing out Deltarune because it would be just weird to end it now. I didn't realize that the ending would be so long. And jeez, like that green girl next door. Oh my God, Chrissy, she's like my life villain. Like the other day, I went to see Cat Petters too. Cat Petter, Cat Petters too. And the only other person in the theater was her. Then I went to QC's and ordered a Cat Pacino, and she like was already drinking one. She's such a copycat. Uh. Copy Gator? Co Copy Saurus? Copy Dial! I don't know, she sucks. Uh, sister. Oh, how's Caddy doing? I have no idea. We, like, totally can't connect at all. Yesterday I asked if she wanted to hear me play the ukulele. She said no, and then she, like, told me my playing is an anti blessing from Planet Hell. What the heck, Chrissy? Like, that is so cute. I love my fricked up little sis. Ezreal, oh my god, Ezreal, like, what a cute cutie pie. You remember when me and him went to the dance? That was, like, the best night ever! Even though I spilled the entire punch ball all over him and danced inappropriately in front of your mom and got arrested in the parking lot for making a scene. Ha-ha! <laughs> that was so much fun! Tell him I said hi! Hey, neighbor baby! When's your brother Doug gonna come by? <laughs> My girls would love to see him. He's a sweet little man. He's just got one problem. He doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? You don't look like... You don't like frozen cat food? <laughs> it's a broken grill. It smells like burnt cat food. There's some kind of scratching noises coming from inside. What is... Chrissy, like long time no see. What's up? Do you want to talk about something? Neighbor. Ugh, that chick next door drives me nuts. I keep seeing her everywhere I go. She's a total copycat. Like, why though? Doesn't she realize she'll never be me? Honestly, her whole family is like, so trashy. Once her sister served me a coffee and I swear it was half cat fur. Like, get a hairnet girl for like your whole body. I think one more with this one. Memories. Remember that time you wanted to hang out with us big kids? I was like, yeah, of course. Just get us some burgers. Then, like, amazingly, you actually got the burgers. So I told you to go back and get some french fries, too. Then a dozen miniature cakes. They were so good. I ate, like, six. Then I was, like, suddenly so sick and so fat I had to go home. Man. So, like, anyway, Chris, are you busy? What? What is this? This is so strange. Knock and knock! I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. Now, why don't you prance on home? Ah, uh, yes, the flower. Hey, it's our. Huh. It's Dad. Dum de dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are! Howdy, how can I? Oh, Chris! Aww. Oh, that's so nice! What a nice hug! Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot if you don't like hugs like that. I forgot if you don't like hugs, yeah. Well now, make yourself at home, Chris. You can help yourself to anything you like. Can I have some dirt? I want this dirt. Let me have the dirt! Not allowed the dirt, apparently. No dirt. Some kind of catalog. There's a car magazine underneath. It's a flower. Ha <laughs> Badoom ching Got him. It's a cash register. There's not much change inside. Flowers. Flower. So we can't... There are various flowers inside. Still various flowers inside. Okay. Say, Chris, I, I was... I, I was thinking... Perhaps when Azrael comes home, we could all go to the diner, just like old times. My treat. Doesn't that sound yummy? It does. Then we could dr all have a nice drive around town. I might need to clean out my truck, but... Okay. Ha! Ha ha! It's an air mattress. It's certainly not king-sized. Boom ching Got him! Chris, do you want to sleep over? You could use that air mattress and I could, uh, 
use those bags of soil. Perhaps not. So the flowers all represent the different souls. It's a purple flower protected in a container. Blue flower. Cyan flower. Golden flower. Yellow. Yellow and golden! I think we're splitting hairs here, friend. It's an orange flower. And green. Huh. Interesting. It's a dirty watering can. Various bags of soil. Dirty fur stuck in the drain. Rusty fridge with some photos. Oh, Chris, if you're hungry, help yourself to anything you want. Uh, see photos. A photo of your mother and father on their wedding day. She's holding a bouquet of seven flowers. A reindeer looking monster, so we know that that's um, Noel's dad. Reindeer looking monster stands nearby in a tuxedo. They all look happy. Let's open the fridge. All that's inside is a jar with a single pickle. You decide to pass. Oh, you don't pass on the pickle! It's a small TV on top are some superhero comics. And then, locked door? The door, it's locked. Yeah, these flowers are still kicking. Quite hard to take care of them in this climate. Huh. So, are, is that implying that they're... It's a separate universe from Undertale, though. Say, Chris, I was thinking... Oh, we already did this. Dinner of, like, old times. We can ride the truck. Yep, okay. Oh, Chris, before you go... Here. For your mother. Our secret. You got the bouquet of flowers. Have a great day, Chris! Bouquet. A bouquet of beautiful flowers in many colors. Perhaps it could be offered to someone. Does it say anything different on this side? No, nope, same thing. Huh. Flower King, here's the truck. It's your dad's truck. The floor of the front seat is littered with old papers and country CDs. Anything in the back? Nothing. There's so many areas. Nothing better than hanging out in the lake with my best bro, watching the waves go by. True. <laughs> Fantastic. This looks suspicious, as though there should be something to do here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Ah! Onion san. <laughs> hey there. Noticed you were here. It's me. You know <laughs> me, right? Of course you do. I'm real popular. I, I just don't have any friends. But it's okay you're here because you're you here. Will, will you be my friend? Yes. Oh, oh, I'm so happy you're here. I'm so happy. I I don't know what to do. I don't remember being this happy before. Uh, what's your name, friend? Chris. C Chris. That's you. That, that's a real nice name for a friend. Oh, excuse me. I forgot to introduce myself. Actually, since no one talks to me, I forgot my own name. Chris, can you give me a name? You should be... <laughs> be beauty! <laughs> that's real, too. Uh, n you should be Onion. Because <laughs> that's your name as I understand it. Uh, <laughs> I don't want it to be mean, Onion. Oh, it's perfect, you hear? I, I don't know what it means, but it's perfect! Uh, feels like it's shaped like me. Feels... Like it smells like me. Wait, what was the name? Um yum? Yeah, it's perfect. Um yum, that's my name. Thank you for giving me a name. I'll cherish it here. Uh, Christmas? That, that's your name, right? I, I want to tell you something t t tomorrow. Something I can only tell a friend. Come back soon, you hear? <laughs> what? <laughs> and <so> <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> 
<laughs> so tomorrow, can I, and I can't reactivate it. Weird. Huh. Oh wait, shoot. Your fingers don't fit through the top anymore. You try from below. Your hand became covered in cobwebs. Okay, it's a metal picnic table. Cigarette butts lay on the ground underneath it. Uh, it asked if I could stick my fingers through, and I said yes. My fingers don't fit through it anymore. Okay. So we did these guys. We did them. We haven't done up yet again. But if these are our neighbors, then we... <laughs> Right, I'm assuming my house is up and to the left, which I'm trying to avoid as much as possible to see everything else. Oh no! Alfie's, what are you doing in the back alley? Oh, oh, Chris, uh, Chris, you're okay. I, uh, I, I, I was really worried when you didn't come back. Where did you go? Did you skip class? Well, don't worry about it. I'm the cool teacher, you know? You're not in trouble. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, uh, let me know if you need anything. It's a dirty trash can. Dirty, dirty trash can. It's another dirty trash can. It's a trash can full of well-kept flowers. Oh, Chris. Did, 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 did you want to talk about something? Let's talk about flowers. Oh, these flowers? They're from your dad. He, he always asks how you're doing at school and gives me a bouquet of them. <laughs> Actually, that he always gives me flowers really makes me wonder if he if he like if if he likes I, <laughs> the awesome comics I I lent to him. Uh, honestly, he kind of reminds me of a superhero, Chris. He's huge and he could totally kick my ass. Saucer? Oh, this saucer of milk? It's for my kitty Mew Mew. She's a perfect angel. Uh, what does she look like? Well, I've never actually seen her, but ever since I started putting out milk, it's been disappearing. So I'd like to think that there's a cat. My cat. Oh, oh that's so sad. It's a saucer of milk. I don't give the flowers to her, right? I mean, they're for your mom. Right, they're I for my mom. Give them. Right, so I should save them for my mom. Also, I'm not 100% sure how to give an item outside of just to use them, but I'm afraid if I use them, maybe if I like use them in somewhere in my house. It's your mom's van. So we got everything else, or like we went through everything else, it seems like. Right? Yeah, pretty. You were keeping track of the locations it's with thorough. me, right? <laughs> oh, people are telling me to check behind Sans' house. One sec. I'll check behind Sans' house real quick. Ooh. Sans' store, guys. That's it's a store. That's sad. It's a good idea, though. Nothing behind there, nothing behind there. Yeah, nothing I can do. Huh. Don't go to bed. Give the flowers to Noel. Behind Sansa. Everyone's like, behind Sansa's house! There's nothing behind Sansa's house! People are also saying, flower store back door. The back door was locked, friends. Oh, there's apparently a library too that you can check out. No, I did the library. Oh yeah. Oh, never yeah, we did the library system. first, and this is locked. So I think I think we've done like I have been super thorough. I feel like welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to bed, it'll be cool when you wake. But do not eat it all this time. All right? Oh, do not eat it all this time. Where's Susie? Right, I feel like I should have been able to have seen Susie somewhere, right? I'm trying, I mean, she left and then you went everywhere. <laughs> we saw the bunker. We checked behind everyone's house. Everyone's saying bed. Have you gone to the graveyard? We did. Yeah, papers on the grave. Yep, Al Alfie, we got, okay. It's a book of hymns. We knew that. TV. Can I give the flower? Chris, what is it, honey? Flowers? Me. Flowers. Oh, Chris. Flowers? For your mother? 
How sweet. These are from him, are they not? Uh, well, worry not, Chris. I will find some place for them. Oh, she doesn't seem super excited about that. Shoot. Chris, honey, you have grown up so much. Someday soon you will be going off to university as well. Remember when you were little? You asked me when your horns were going to grow in? So we bought that headband with the little red horns on it? No, oh, you wore it for months. Whatever happened to it? Remember that video game you and Azriel used to play? What was it called? Super Smashing Fighters? <laughs> <laughs> when he was very little, he loved the green lizard from that. We even had a birthday party for him themed around it. Your father painted all these eggs with spots and decoration. Oh, your brother loved it. Until the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. Your brother just kept crying. Ever since, he's hated that book about eating green eggs. That's great. Let's talk about pie. Chris, since only you and I are living here right now, it feels just a bit lonely, does it not? But fortunately, sharing a warm, freshly made pie is the perfect cure for such a condition. As long as I get to eat some, of course. It's a landline phone, but you already have your cell phone. It's a trash can. It just rings infinitely. Cookie cutters for gingerbread, yeah, we knew that. It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie, it's still cooling. So hopefully it... Okay, so nothing's really changed in the kitchen. I didn't get to check this out before. You looked inside the sink cupboard, there's a can of Icy's Cool Boys Body Spray. Spray for the boys, flaming hot pizza flavor. Seems to be almost entirely full. It's a toilet, flush it. Yeah. You flushed the toilet! <laughs> Nailed it. On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple-scented shampoo and a gallon-sized container of pet shampoo. That's funny. They really need to get blinds for these windows, man. It's looking straight into their bathroom. There are no blinds there. That is, that is not a good situation. Should I have been able to see Susie? Yeah, we saw the bunker. Uh, real quick before I go upstairs, I don't know if there's anything upstairs. It feels like that's kind of the end thing. Flush multiple times, everyone's saying. <laughs> so I'm gonna flush multiple times. Flame not pizza plate. Flush the toilet again. You flush the toilet! And again. You flush the toilet again! And again! Oh. Ha! <laughs> Chris! <laughs> is everything alright in there? <laughs> that's great. Good one. Good call, guys. Flush it nine times, people are saying. Are you kidding me? No, there's... You flush the toilet another time. And another time. My achievements continue. This is the most achievement I've gotten in this live stream. Oh, Chris, what are you doing? You did not put a bath bomb in the toilet again, did you? It's great. Oh man. Chris, if anything bad happens, you are paying for the plumbing bill. <laughs> I think that might be it. Alright, that seems to be it. Alright. Uh, I like that everyone's... Drop the ball. Everyone's saying drop my what ball? Oh, drop the ball? The ball of junk? I, I no, I'm not gonna lose the ball. I feel like the it smells script. Why would I drop the ball? I feel like dropping the ball. Small ball of accumulated things. It smells like scratch and sniff marshmallow stickers. Really? Everyone wants me to drop the ball? Do not go to sleep. Go to Asgore. We did Asgore. Drop the ball of junk. I don't want to... The ball of junk seems to be sentimental. What do you think, Chris? The ball of junk seems to be sentimental, right? Yeah, it does. I, I don't know, are you... Is it like a mom thing, I wonder? Like if you drop it in front of her, is there gonna be some special thing? I don't think so. I think it's more symbolic of Chris 
growing up or moving on or something. I don't know. Okay. I, I could be thinking too much into it. Everyone's saying drop it. You really didn't want to throw it away. Throw it away anyway. No, keep it. You felt a feeling of relief. So it reminds you of your brother. Tales of we, we read the stories the first time we did this. That's me. It's only you. Still locked. There's no green color. Computer. CDs. Classical ska. Drawers in it. Day, closed drawer, red wagon with rusty, rusty bird cage. If you go to bed, this chapter of your adventure will end. Will you go to bed? Everyone's saying don't sleep, but we have to. Because that, like, like, that's the end of this chapter, right? Go to sleep and try to move. No sleeping. You can sleep. You've got nothing left. Okay, good. That's what I thought. Will you go to bed? It, se it seems like we've been super thorough. I also have the save point from earlier so we can go back and do Jevil so we can finish that whole fight. Um, yeah, let's sleep. Let's end this chapter. I feel like we've been really thorough with this playthrough. You decided to go to bed. Oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> Yikes. What? Like a zombie? Like, walking nightmare? <laughs> Oh. What? What? <laughs> no! What? Whoa! <gasps> that was not expected. When the light is running low and the shadows start to grow and the places that you know seem like to see there's a light inside your soul that's still shining in the cold with the truth the promise in our hearts don't forget i'm with you in the dark huh. Interesting. We continued in chapter two, whenever that happens. Huh. Wow, that was an unexpected twist at the end. Holy cow. Wow. So, I'm just trying to think of, obviously, you know, now that I've finished it, I can start working on the theory about it. Um, that's really interesting. So symbolically, Chris throws her heart into a cage. So she rips out her heart, or her soul, I guess, and throws it in a cage. So she's closed off. It's weird, though, because it seems counter to the journey that we just went through. Because the whole story of the Darkners and stuff was Susie growing up, or a Susie growing to, like, trust and be vulnerable to other people, but also Chris growing to have a friend and, and sure Chris and, and growing to be a leader 
And sure, Chris doesn't say anything the whole time, and so you're kind of left to interpret what she's saying, but it's clear that she's talking because everyone else is responding to her and they're acknowledging that there's a, that there's a, that there's like a, a conversation happening. And so it's weird for her to assume this leadership role and to make a friend with Susie and, you know, yes, clearly Chris, up until this point, like, based on all the backstory that we were getting through that whole ending sequence is, you know, Chris has been really quiet. There's been this uh, tragedy that happened in their life. The divorce, it seems like, the divorce of, uh, of Toriel and Asgore, that might seem to have been the breaking point. And then, and then Asriel, your brother, is kind of your protector as evidenced by them still going to the cafe or to the diner on weekends. And then he goes away to college, which leaves you alone. So socially you're alone and you're sad. And that's why this whole time you have kind of this like, this dour, glower, like gloom about you everywhere. But it's weird for after the whole arc of the, the journey with Susie, for you to suddenly kind of revert back to that. But it also seemed like she didn't have control over it when she woke up at night. When Chris woke up, it seemed like it was out of his, her control. So maybe like progress was made. Progress was made and she was like possessed by something. Or, you know, it's, this is just symbolic of her not having control in her own life over her own emotions. And, like, even though there's progress made, obviously it's not something that's fixed in a day. Huh. That's also interesting because it goes to the whole idea of, like, do your choices matter? Because we played through entirely pacifist. Everyone was really happy. We saved a bunch of people. Um, we didn't even fight the king, even though everyone's like, you can't not fight the king. We, we didn't fight the king. Like, we survived without having to fight him. Um, interesting. That's interesting. It does feel like it is also, like, a bunch of characters who are from a separate parallel universe who, like, have gone in a different way if monsters and humans were almost flipped. Because Chris is the only human in a city of monsters, which I think is also really interesting to point out. So she's adopted... Really interesting. Huh. So, okay. Um, I think it's one of those things where, true to, like, what the beginning of the game said and kind of hit over our heads a bunch of times, that choice doesn't matter, and this is telling a very pre-scripted series of events. Um, real quick, uh, the purple Pukumuku says, uh, Chara is powered by the underground in the dark. Um, Doggy barks Chara, you know, with knives and the red eyes. Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely like a Chara reference at the end, which, uh, you know, is who you see and unlock at the end of the genocide run in Undertale. So does the spirit possess Chris? I don't know. Does, is this the origin story of who Chara is, like from an earlier timeline? Interesting. It's worth exploring. Um, not Quinn Linney says, I don't think that was Chris. Uh, let's see. Giam says, there's more evidence as you speak to every now that she that suggests that Chris was always a bit screwed up, and it's you, the player, who controls the soul. That is good. Uh, Alf Z. Miles says, you are a human touching a dark fountain. You know that you get possessed by some dark force, the night. That's interesting. Yeah, because you had to go through that dark fountain in order to kind of resurface on the surface world. Um, cool. Uh, let's see. And then everything at Daniel Sandbar's like Jevil. Yeah, we got to Jevil. I wanted to make sure that we had enough time today to finish the game. I, th I thought for sure we would finish the game in like 20 minutes and then the rest of the stream would be us fighting Jevil a couple times and hopefully beating him after uh, maybe like three or four. I was doing pretty good the first time. Um, but this took a lot longer than I expected. Um, so we will be back with one final, one final stream of this probably at some point to at least finish off Jevil. Um, I don't know what else there is. I'll look around to see if there is any more Easter eggs or things that we should explore on stream. Uh, but I'm going to start working on a theory around this. Um, 
It's really interesting. I think this is a really interesting game. I think there's a lot of really interesting angles to attach to it. Because the other thing, too, is like the whole your choices don't matter could be a thematic thing. It could very well be like, hey, this is a story about how your choice doesn't matter and you're kind of trapped into these predetermined paths. It could also honestly be just something Toby Fox needed to include in the game to get people differentiating this from Undertale. Because at this point, if you're Toby Fox and your first big game is Undertale and you've kind of completely reinvented kind of how RPGs get played, all of a sudden everyone goes into your second game, which has a very similar art aesthetic and everyone has similar names, so understandably still everyone goes into your second game being like, how are you going to do a pacifist run versus a genocide run? And it could have just been like, hey, let me clarify this for you in the opening seconds of the game. Your choices don't matter here, so don't try to do all these weird things. So it could be thematic. It could just be from a gameplay standpoint to try and get people into the mindset of what this new story is. It's really, really interesting. I think... I think that was great. Uh, I know earlier someone in the comments said like, oh, I don't think you like this game as much. I think, it's, I think it's great. I think it's really, really interesting. I think the characters are super believably written. I think the characters are really fun. And clearly there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to kind of pick apart. And I'm sure across however many chapters there are, it's going to be a really interesting, really compelling story. So I'm excited to see where it goes. Um, but in the meantime, I'm more than happy to theorize about what it all means. So I'm going to start working on that this weekend. Hopefully, uh, if I get it done, maybe it'll be next week's theory. We'll see. Fingers crossed. I'm going to try hard. Um, so anyway, thank you guys so much for joining us today. Sorry, Steph had to leave early. I should get, get on back. I will say we started this stream on kind of a, a down note. Uh, it was kind of like we were, we were in a, in a, in a bad, bad place. Still not like outside of the stream, still in kind of a bad place, but at least for the last two hours, it's been fantastic spending it with you and getting to play this game together and experience it and start discussing it together. Uh, so thank you for being the bright spot of my day today. It really means a lot. We really needed it today. So you guys are incredible. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for you know being such a, such a positive community for us here on the stream every single week. Um, it really is oftentimes the highlights of our day. So just know that, you know, yes, you're watching, and yes, you thank us all the time for doing the live stream, but thank you guys so much for watching because you're also doing us a huge favor by being here and by being a part of this amazing community. So thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for being a part of this Delta Rune playthrough. I promise we'll go back and finish Jevil next week. And in the meantime, guys, remember, that was just a stream, a live stream. Have a fantastic weekend. Stay safe out there. And we'll see you on Monday. Back to normal time, 4 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. We'll see you then. Say goodbye in the chat. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Um, Mario Derek says no Jevil. Nope, that has to save for next week. Crispy All Might says this is the first one. Chara Chris is the first person at the top. People casted a spell to make them go underground. Then Frisk came out. Yes, so an origin story. Um, Hannah Phantom says sorry, things aren't great. Hope your weekend is better. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, Michelle.